All right, got a driver, got some lead tape. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So this video, pretty simple. I've got five grams of high density lead tape right here. I've got my driver right here. And we're gonna play around with positioning the lead tape in different locations on the head, on the heel, on the toe, on the sole here, up on the top, and then stick around till the end of the video because we're gonna try one more location. It's not even legal, but we're gonna see what happens. Specifically what I wanna look at in this video and what we're gonna pay attention to is what kind of difference do we see between the heel position and the toe position and the low sole position versus the top of the crown position. All right, so first up, let's go with heel weighting. So as you can see here, this tape is as far as we can put it, basically on the heel, all the way right here next to the screw for the uh, hosel adapter. That was definitely out on the toe. And you could see right there, that was a pretty sweeping draw type of shot. better. All right, toe versus heel. Well, for me personally, I hated, hated that heel weight. Basically gave me a pretty bad case of the duck hooks, uh, just snap hooking the majority of the shots. So really didn't like the feel, the balance in the head that way. Definitely went left. So that is, that is right on. If you're thinking, I want to hit the ball further left, if you struggle with the fade, if you struggle leaving the face open, put more of that weight on the heel side. That is going to help you out, but for me, it was a little too much, too far to the heel, and we got those kind of shots. Liked it much more out on the toe side, felt much more balanced, felt like I could feel where the head is. That's the other thing to be aware of. When you move more of the weight towards the heel, you will kind of lose that sensation of where the head is, whether it's open or closed, because that weight is much closer to the hosel, to the shaft. When the weight's way out here on the toe, it's a lot easier to sense where the head, where the face is pointing as you swing it. So for me at least, and overall, I still hit it kind of left even with it out on the toe, but not nearly as far and not nearly as aggressively. I had to delete a few with the heel shots because they were just plain ugly. So toe versus heel definitely will make an influence, will make a difference even with just five grams going to the extreme heel versus the extreme toe. All right, this one is one I'm really interested in because I've never tried this experiment before, which is gonna be the low or low versus high weight being added to the head. So we're gonna start off with a very traditional placement, which is putting the lead tape down here on the sole. In general, we would expect that to kind of help us with both launch and spin, giving us a little bit higher launch maybe, and definitely a little bit lower spin. So we're gonna see what happens 
in this configuration versus when we put it on the top. And definitely working the lefts today. All right, now this is something I don't think I've ever seen anyone, I don't think I've ever seen anyone ever do this, which is putting the lead tape on the top of the crown. But we're gonna see what happens. Again, moving that weight much higher on the face in theory is gonna increase our spin. It may lower our launch as well. So let's see what happens. It's also slightly interesting to look at. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the rules on this. If you put tape, can you put tape, lead tape on the crown or not? Because it could be seen as some sort of alignment type tool. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, is this legal to do or not? Because for tournament play, I'm not sure. That was hammered right there. Come on, 300. Not quite. All right, let's look at the numbers. Five grams on the sole versus five grams on the crown. I thought we might see a little bit lower launch and higher spin when that weight was up here on the crown, kind of getting more of that, again, that gear effect, if we move that center of gravity a little bit higher, the face is more likely to sort of turn down when you hit it below that center of gravity. But we didn't see that here because we actually saw a little bit higher launch. Now, along with that, we did get the higher spin that I thought would happen with the weight on the crown, but I don't know if that has anything to do with the weight as much as it just has to do with the fact that the launch was also a little higher, higher launch, usually a little higher spin. So I don't know that it probably made a big difference. Again, this is five grams. It's not a ton of weight when you're talking about, say a 200 gram head, five grams is pretty small. So the amount you can actually move the center of gravity is almost nothing. I would say overall this, is probably just based on the sample size more than anything else. Maybe there was a tiny, tiny difference, but not really much to talk about. Honestly, the biggest difference is probably one, again, I don't know that this is legal to put it up here. And two, even if it is, then you have to look at it up here uh, versus having it on the sole where you don't have to think about it. And that's probably better. All right, last thing to test in this video. And I know that you aren't allowed to do this. So just be aware of that. But what happens if we take that same five grams of lead tape and we stick it right there on the face? Now it's really up here in front. In theory, more of the weight towards the face can give us better ball speeds and it's kind of low. So again, maybe we get slightly lower spin numbers with that. Again, uh, you aren't allowed to do this for tournament play. I'm also not even sure that this is gonna stay on here when I start swinging it. And uh, how weird does it look? Yeah, it looks a little odd, but we'll see what happens. I'm giving it about 50-50 chance that this tape comes flying off when I hit the ball, but we'll see what happens. Well, it stayed on the club head. And I hit above where the tape is, so I didn't make contact with the tape. I hit it somewhere up here. Definitely made it sound a little different. Not sure that it did anything else, but we'll hit a few more.
That was hit like a cannon, I think. Yeah. All right, finally, what happens if you put the lead tape right there, smack dab on the face? Again, can't do it for tournament play because it could be an unfair advantage. I don't know exactly what I thought was going to happen here. I don't know if I thought maybe it would slow down the face a little bit because it couldn't flex the same way or, or maybe it would be better. I don't know. But the numbers are really showing that it didn't really make any real difference versus putting it on the bottom or putting it on the top. The ball speed, you can see there, slightly lower. But guess what? The club head speed from those swings was also slightly lower. So the overall efficiency was pretty much exactly the same. The launch angle, again, right there in the same range as it was with the other ones. Spin, a touch higher, but we're talking 100 rotations, which is basically nothing. And yeah, the carry distance is, again, slightly shorter, but I was swinging it slightly slower. So whatever I thought was going to happen, I, I kind of thought it could go either way, and it ended up going neither way. Okay, my two takeaways from this is, one, I do not like having a lot of weight on the heel. Definitely made me lose the feel of where the face was pointing. I could not really tell. And because of that, I hit a lot of big duck hooks. And uh, I deleted most of them, but I know they were there and they were ugly. So weight on the far heel was a no-go for me. Honestly, what gave me the best results was really kind of anything in the middle section. Whether it was on the sole, the crown, or right there on the face, that didn't really seem to make much difference. The results were all pretty similar. So that being said, if you need to add some weight and you're just wanting to add some neutral weight to the club, I would say just go ahead, stick it right here on the bottom. That seemed to give as good a result as anywhere and you know it's legal and you don't have to look at it staring on the crown or anything like that. So done and done. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe to the channel, make sure you are hitting the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. If you want to get in touch with me about a fitting, custom clubs, repair, any of that sort of thing, my contact information is down in the description, and I will see you on the next video.